Oh my goodness, guys. You're not going to believe this. As you know, this is uh, the little turtle I've been trying to rescue. And I literally just had to break him out of ice. As you can see, he's alive there. But he was literally in the ice out there. I could not believe he could possibly still be alive. He was sitting in the bottom of the water. And look at that. Oh my gosh. She was sitting in the bottom of the water out there. And the light bulb had like fried out. The light bulb had fried out. So the top of the water had frozen. I... Here's some pictures of him inside the water. And uh, I honestly, the moment I saw the light off, I was like, oh my goodness. This this thing is dead. But after a minute, I had realized that uh, he uh, he was still alive under there. Because the ice hadn't frozen all the way through. And here, here's where I had to get him out of the ice. But this is like, if it would have gone any longer, it would have frozen down him and he would have died for sure. But... He was under in a part that wasn't frozen over, so he survived. But honestly, I, the first, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, he's dead. He's so dead. But as it turns out, he was alive. It's, it's, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even planning on recording it until I made sure that he was alive. But he seems to be acting a little lethargic, which can be understood because the water was freezing temperature. But it hadn't yet frozen on him, so I'm thinking he'll just warm up and be fine. But he's definitely alive. That's not just nerves. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. I can't believe it. I'm really glad that I got to it. I'm glad I check him every morning. The light bulb probably went out a couple of hours ago. And uh, I got him just in time to save his life. So it didn't freeze all the way through to him. So I'm glad I could save him. He's definitely not going out there anymore. So... This is going to be his little home for now, and I'm going to ask my grandma if she's not okay with it, then I'll take him over to our house and do something with him. But he's over here where we had that little chicken wobbling around. I don't know if you knew that, but when we were rehabilitating the one with the messed up legs, she was over in this corner just waddling around. And also, uh, she did actually die. Unfortunately, she was too lame to waddle away from the bigger chickens, and they did they did get her, and she is... No longer living, but um, hopefully we can keep this one alive. That would just be terrible. I can't believe he survived. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this guy will be okay. He looks like he'll be fine. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.